Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the 13th round already from the Celerity Esports. Don't pay attention to my voice today because I catch the cold. So uh, my apologies for it. Maybe I can uh, cough sometimes. I don't have uh, the COVID-19 infection. I am just catch the cold this weekend in my t-shirt in the rain. My name is Dylan. I'm your commentary for tonight. As you can see we have a totally full grid today. This is very positive few new drivers joined the celerity and um, yeah Silverstone next uh, circuit where we all have been waiting for maybe not all because we know a uh, few drivers doesn't like this track really much but a lot of British drivers in this division what makes it very suitable for them I think they love it to, uh, to drive at home so we will see how this goes tonight uh, in the race probably uh, we will see some rain because my drivers are yelling uh, light rain in the race and in the end it will uh, dry up so yeah this can be uh, very uh, satisfying Silverstone is a circuit where uh, where there's always a high chance of rain and intermediate tires or even the wet tires will be used in the race but at the qualification session we will see a dry session here well let's pronounce a few new drivers T Mike we already know him his name is my high I think his name is better like this, so uh, it's not a new driver, but uh, he has a name change. He's going out on track right now. Then, let me see, let me see, I think Real Ford is uh, he's here for the first time. He joined uh, about two weeks ago. He joined Red Bull Racing, Real Ford, he's from Denmark, like Gravis. Gravis is absent today, we all know Gravis, he's a friend of him. So also from Denmark, new driver for Red Bull. Then we have Jacob Pasty. He is from Ireland. But he's using the flag of New Zealand. He's also from there. He likes to use that flag. So uh, from New Ze Zealand he is. I'm seeing Team Mio leaving the session. Don't know why. Also Roberto leaving the session. Ooh. Scott Masters is... Uh, ah, no, 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 no. This is really unfortunate, really unfortunate. Something happened with the, with the host. So we need to start over again. <laughs> What's the problem with uh, entering real fort into the session? So I need to... Uh, step out of the lobby that's why Jacob Pasty was the host but uh, I think he uh, his connection is not so well that's why everybody's lagged out we will start a new session so we will be back in five minutes
My apologies for the interruption, ladies and gentlemen. There was uh, something wrong with connection. There are a few drivers who uh, cannot join when I'm the host. My uh, internet connection is very solid, of course. So it's always because of bad Wi-Fi that drivers cannot join the session. But uh, for this reason, like I said, Jacob Pasty was the host, but uh, <laughs> he's also using Wi-Fi, what isn't really spectacular. So uh, yeah, we got uh, the error that uh, the mig yeah, migrating host error. This way uh, we need to uh, start the lobby again. Now there are only 18 drivers instead of a full lobby because real Ford and who's the other driver Nova Apollo unfortunately cannot join the session anymore because they got a really bad connection. I think there's also no use they will be thrown out of the session uh, either so I think we should have a look into it after the race uh, for now we uh, just race because we are already almost 30 minutes uh, later than, than usual but for now we will uh, we will start let's go on Silverstone I already uh, given my apologies I catch the cold so my voice is not uh, as you are used maybe sometimes I can cough a little bit but so uh, <laughs> I'm still uh, trying to entertain you guys so let's see uh, how this race will go we we'll launch the Twitch channel as well because I already have uh, if you say something let's go yeah I pronounced a few n new drivers and at that exact moment I was pronouncing Jacob Pasty I said he was Irish but he isn't he's English also from New Zealand he's uh, both ways and he's using the New Zealand flag so uh, he's new in the celerity joined Racing Point we had Will Ford, he's not here anymore, unfortunately. But he joined Red Bull, like I said already. And then we have Francois. He's from Argentina, so he... Uh, is from the other side of the planet, let, let us say it like that. No, sorry Jamie, you can't join. This is the third division, you are a second division driver. So... It's not allowed to drive in lower competitions than where you are driving, unfortunately. It would, would not be fair. Nope, I'm sorry. Never in a lower tier. You're, the only uh, possibility is driving in a higher tier, because it's harder. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair for the drivers over here. These drivers are busy with a championship. And if you are placing drivers who are capable of faster times, it wouldn't be fair. Well, you can tell this, but he had a driver test, and he is very capable of racing with second-tier drivers. He's too fast for this division already. Also, his friends, by the way, real Johnny. Is real Johnny around today? Yes, of course he is. He's already in his hot lap. Team Mike starting his hot lap there, but real Johnny is also a fast driver already in this division. They probably are already done with learning next season and they can make the step to the higher tier this is a beginners league ladies and gentlemen also not we won't do uh, silly things this is a normal championship in the second season at the ending stage of the second season this is the 13th round So four more rounds with this one with it and then we have another champion well let's give you guys some rankings and in the meantime watching team mike is on board see you later with ball position 125.1 hachi now with ball position he's uh, only four thousands of a, of a second quicker drive is past the line 9 in, in total right now next driver who will do it is Tio no sorry he's going to start his hot lap I think Atismo is going to there he is P4 125.2 next driver is Team Mike who we were following just before P9 125.7 the drivers are ridiculously close to each other 
Jacob Pasty. P9, sneaky Tom, P8. Well, I said I want, uh, wanted to give you guys some ranking, so uh, let's do this. It's Tio Mio in the lead, a very solid lead, 221 points. Followed by Nicky Rizzles on 169 points. So there's a difference, 31 plus 21. 60 points between them, sorry, it's not. 58 points. Poseidon on 137 points. Seudator on 89, Brother Adam on 85. This is the top five from the CL3 division. So yeah, Tio Mio, uh, he has got it in own hands and I think he, uh, he's definitely a candidate and he's up for the title. Challenge, challenge very hard for it and give a lot of effort. There he is, our leader in the slurry. With the pole position immediately, 124.6. Two purple sectors, the third sector was a, a green one. We have a bug on the screen saying uh, Seerator is fastest. And unfortunately this bug will not be dismissed anymore <laughs> on the entire qualification session. So don't pay attention to it anymore. Because it's wrong. Who's next? Who's next? I think it's Pipe Tech. Heading for Maggots and Baggots. A little bit wide. Into Chapel. On Hanger Straight. Had a holiday for two weeks, it was uh, there already last week. Oh, he was still in this in his outlap or something. Some constructors in the meantime. Also the team of Tio Mio together with Luki, Luki Luke. They are leading with 268 points. <laughs> oh, the most of these points are scored by, uh, by Tio Mio of course. Luki had a, a third place once. Very surprising. He said it uh, will take him uh, one year and a half to do this one again. And then it's followed by Williams, of course, 224 points. So this is still very excited. It can change in one race. And the Alpha Tauri is on third place with 167 points. Haas F1, 162 points, also really close. And Mercedes on 154 points. So this uh, is not over yet, this, this battle between uh, for the Constructor Championship and also for the second and third place of course. This is the top five. Hey guys, who is in this hot lap? I think see you later is coming. Teammate first, Jacob in his outlap. I think next drive is Poseidon. There he comes. He's still in battle with Nicky Rissus for that second place. Oh, and then Invalid unfortunately immediately dives into the pit. So it won't cost him another lap.
the simulator is going for an improvement. He's going to dive under the 125s. Takes the third place with the 124.880. Then Lucky Luke is also coming, I think. Yes, he is. But he's starting his hot lap there. And then Hachi, who's performing better now. Last week, he had a new steering wheel. Already told you guys that. So he had to, uh, to get used to it. But look at this. He's close again to Tio Mio, so he's improving now on this Fanatic set. It's a beautiful steering wheel. Definitely uh, yeah, su suggestion, suggestion, I would say. Pool Resort or Nicky Rizzles is coming. Nicky Rizzles. Ah, there it is, 124.5. I forgot to mention Nicky Rizzles. He's the pole killer. He's really, uh, really a pole killer. Earns seven pole positions this season. Only but credits there. Gialle, by the way, forgot to mention him. He's a new driver from Italy. It's the first Italian driver in the Celerity Third Division. We got multiple Italian drivers, but these belong to other divisions. Real Johnny going for his hot lap. And his teammate is coming, Lee Meister. Bolts Leroy before. Diving into the pits to grab a new set of tires. But GLA, uh, he joined Renault. Wilco Duncan, uh, unfortunately, could not drive anymore, any longer. Mike, 2604, already uh, left uh, this league uh, quite a, a few weeks ago. So there's a new team, Atismo. We are already used to him and Renault in the yellow colors, but now GLA. Italian driver joined it and it's on sixth place there. I think it's uh, solid. It's his first race. No drivers regret. Regret new set of tires there. For another shot because there are still five minutes on this clock. This team Mike going for an improvement there. Definitely P6, 125.1. He told us he had only 20 minutes of practicing before he joined the race. Because uh, all day he's working and when he comes home probably uh, wanted to grab uh, grab a meal. Gives us, give some practice and then he needs to race. But uh, yeah, then he's doing very well without uh, long practice. He's a fast driver. And uh, Robert Dodo, not a time yet. Like Poseidon, those two drivers need to nail something. I'm still missing his pace because. Last season he was on the pad and he was capable of scoring points. Of course the division did grow a lot. Because if we compare the times from last season until this season, we are seeing drivers, uh, drivers improving. They are learning that they have a good environment to learn. Good people around them of course. But yeah, Robert Dodo we changed to the T150 Thrustmaster and at that point I didn't see him score points yet but still I'm proud uh, he's nailing it and shifting himself right now takes it a bit easy into maggots and brackets into chapel as well but again say, said he had a purple sector that I don't believe it <laughs> I don't believe that one and if so, then he's definitely going for uh, for a quick time. Let's see what Robert Dodo can score today. It's looking like a solid banker lap. He's 17.126.6. Tio Mio, by the way. I think it was Tio Mio. No, it was in the pits. It was Lucky Luke. But um, yeah, he took over from Nicky Rizzles again. 
cannot see his time for some reason. It's because the clouds in the sky. But he has a 124.318. Two tenths quicker than Nicky Rizzles is doing. Who's next? Who's next, boys? Must be real Johnny. Oh no, sorry, it's his teammate. Lee Meister. Oh, it's Poseidon retired from the session. Oh, this is strange. I uh, clicked on a button and it said super human hearing on. <laughs> it's off again, disabled. <laughs> What happened to uh, Poseidon? Why did he retire in the pit? So nothing went wrong. He just uh, does he like to start from behind or something? I don't know. We did see drivers do that before because they want to practice it. But and Lucky will uh, dive into the pits, of course. Pukesort in his outlap. Nicky as well. Both. Of the racing points will do the same. Then it's Spytek into the pits as well. Let me see who's first. Who's first? I think it's you later. We'll cross the finishing line as first, trying to make improvement there. Did he improve? No, not. He's uh, almost a half second slower than he was before. Then Nicky Rizzo, sorry, Boogie Sword in his hot lap. It is more next. Sometimes you need to, uh, to switch very quickly. Jacob, also not him. I need to charge my battery. I won't lose connection anymore. Come on guys, who's next? Tio Mio. He's going for his final hot lap there. Lucky Luke as well. And then it must be Nicky Rizzles for improvement. Oh ho! Oh, he tried too much there in the final corner. <laughs> he lost it. Hitting the walls a little bit the, uh, in his rear. It's not really spectacular, but yeah, his uh, attempt is over, of course. And he may will be disqualified for this, because he cannot uh, change or switch the direction uh, soon enough. I think he was capable of doing it. He's still standing there, by the way. Pachi P3 GLA is coming next. No, it's not. It's Atismo P8. He stole the place from his teammate. But his teammate is still out and also going for improvement two tenths quicker into the third sector. Can he do it? Steal his position back from his teammate. Oh, he can even steal the fourth place. This is a good qualification session. His first one, definitely good. Sneaky Tom. He's happy, I think. Real Johnny. What can you do? Can you do something? Bang! P8. Must be Bukes or diving into the pits. Uh, still a has on track. But he's, uh, he finished already. So it's Jacob Pasty, but he's not going for improvement at all. I think this is it, boys. Looky Luke. Looky Luke is still there. But again, uh, <laughs> he's already on 140, so it's no improvement. Yes, it's Tio Mio today with pole position. He scored a pole position last week as well in Mexico. He had everything last week. Pole position, fastest lap, and also the win. So two races in a row. Uh, another pole position for Nicky Rizzo. He still holds the record, of course. 
because he had six pole positions in a row. There was only one driver who could do this before. He scored five in a row. It was Energy Destructor. He's not in the league anymore. Finished second last season. So he is on the wall of celerity, but his record is already broken by Nicky. Now we are waiting for uh, everybody to retire or uh, join the pits. And it's Nicky uh, as last. It's uh, a very long pit lane by the way. Also a pit exit. You're feeling like uh, it will distract you uh, almost. Because yeah, it's it's too long. I think it's too long. I don't uh, don't like those uh, those pit lanes at all. Yeah, probably uh, Dodo is right. Like I told you, last season he was capable of scoring points, and yeah, the level uh, increased, of course, and. Uh, maybe enormously still of course the second tier is faster and the top tier uh, even faster than that but Robert Dodo yeah he said it's insane how uh, how the drive has uh, improved this season Tio Mio pole position 124.3 <laughs> that's a solid a solid time very very good actually the record let me see the, the record it's in hands of Dolla Tommy from the top tier 123.9 so yeah, that's a very good time from this third division driver it's only a half second uh, slower than last season of course drivers became faster so probably we will see uh, even better times tomorrow in the top tier don't miss out on it uh, by the way maybe 123 lows 122 high w would it be possible what do you guys think is a 122 high possible for the top tier they already blown their minds uh, multiple times so uh, yep I wouldn't be surprised if it happens but a 123 is low is already very fast of course let's see let's see tomorrow all right some uh, formation lap here normally it's taking a while before the formation lap starts today uh, it happened very quickly well, there's no uh, no waiting for us. We already waited for too long, of course, at the beginning, because of the the internet corruption migrating host problem. So Tio Mio on P1, Nicky Rizzo's on the second place, and Hachi on the third one. GLA a very surprising and uh, good qualification session at as his first try on P4. Francois as well, good session from him, from Argentina, new driver. He's reserve, so he's not for Haas, he's the first reserve on the list. But because of the absence from Gravis, he joined it today and is helping out here later. He's even faster uh, at this circuit than see you later. We will see how this, uh, how this will go in the race. See you later on P6, Team Mike P7. Real Johnny on the 8th place and Jacob Pasty 9th position for him P10 Tismo Sneaky on 11 we know this circuit is not his favorite last season he had the same he's going for medium tires Lee Meister on P12 right behind him on the softs Pytech and Lucky Luke 13, 14, we'll do the same also on soft. Then we have Dodo, maybe he can do something over here then on the mediums. If he can have a, a good first hint. Let's see uh, how far he can go. Poseidon 
on the 16th place on softs. That's very, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's a very smart call. One stopper is uh, possible today, of course. Mostly drivers switching from softs to medium. Maybe some drivers will do the safest way on hards, but I think soft medium is, is doable. Burgesort and brother Adam will finish this grid on P17 and P18. So there it is, forming up the grid for the 13th race. Drivers get in line. They are absolutely ready. Let's pray for a very good session today. Because... Very strange camera angles today. I want another one. I want this one. Yes, the lights are turning red and are off from my side. The match is on, ladies and gentlemen. Tio Mio and Hachi has a very great start over here. Going through the first corner there. Oh, Sneaky Tom went very wide. Everybody is through. I see a half spinning away. It's see you later there. Still everybody in. This is a very good start, ladies and gentlemen. Hachi took over from Nicky Rizzos. Also, Francois took it over already on the third place there. Real Johnny fighting really close behind T Mike. Ooh, what can Francois do? This is first race. Don't want to be too excited there. Speaking uh, a few warnings already, I think, in the first lap. Two. I think he had two already, so it can be a penalty really quickly for him. Real Johnny, will to will now. Can he do it? Can he do it? Just came too short for this one. Ooh, yes, yes, let's just be Meister and see you later touching each other. She so later spun away, he's the first, he, he spun away already two times, but he's the first driver who uh, had an incident there. Still, he's managing to save himself already two times because he's managing to keep up with the grid what is happening in front of here something happened in front of here because Nicky Riz is on second place GLA now on the third place so Francois lost a bunch of places oh now this is a bug this is a bug it must be oh T Mike T Mike spinning away as well always Codemasters is, is giving us a hard time I think T Mike has got some damage. No, he's not. He just uh, doesn't have grip. He hits the gravel there. Little Johnny now. Fight it with uh, GLA. So I'm sorry, guys. This is the, the grid again. Sometimes Codemaster is saying other things than, uh, than, is, than what is really happening. To Silent with the second penalty there. See you later with the first one. the snow and drill Johnny wheel to wheel like I told you before the predicted pit stop strategy for today Faster tire, of course, you can do it. Oh. 
Pipe tech is uh, on soft, better traction of course in the beginning of the race. Fastest lap by Fiumio, 128.6 at lap at the end of lap three. So, for now, uh, Francois has got a really great start. It's a red connection bar, but of course he's from Argentina. And, uh, if I am watching it like this, I don't see uh, much trouble or anything, so this is uh, this good. Let's keep it that way. He's having a good exit, I think, to Chapel. But also Francois is having a DRS on Hachi in front of him. Tio Mio again, he's loose. He's loose. He's really on top of his game late, lately. And uh, yeah, last week he uh, drove away about, was it again, 20 seconds or something? <laughs> he's not from this division anymore. But yeah, he earned it all, in, all by himself. He improved so many. Whoa, there's Nicky Luke spinning away. It was definitely his own fault. I could see him uh, struggling with oversteer. What's happening over here? There's a battle going on in front. I think Hachi made a mistake because Francois already took it over. Nicky Riz was also chasing them. She must have uh, made a mistake or something. Atismo fighting with his teammate. Went a bit wide. Do they want to do it? Will to will? No, they are not doing that into baggots and baggots. It's very dangerous to go will to will over there. But Atismo with the DRS online, can he take it over? Yes, he can. Yeah, they're not giving up over here. This is very brilliant. I think he he uh, scored a warning with it. Now Nicky Rizzles and Hachi also fighting together. Lovely to see this. There's some some good duels between the gentlemen. And uh, back to the windows because this fight is not over yet. I always love to see team team fights between uh, teammates. This uh, more on the inside now. And now he uh, he has got the position from GLA. take it over again and maybe even Jacob Pasty because he's also getting involved. This one did use a lot of ERS, don't know about GLA. Can you do it, can you do it, can you do it? I think it's too far away. Yes it is. Needs to be careful on these, war on these uh, track limits because you will score penalties. 
Lewis with the fastest lap one, 28.3, took it over from Poseidon. Oh, there was a minor contact between the gentlemen, but everything went well. I'm happy to see that. Also chasing, smelling points today. in too early. Gossip in his, uh, his exit. I'm closing in on, uh, on both drivers in front of him as well. That's got plenty of URS, so he's saving and uh, managing it as he should. Oh, a battle again between Francois and Nicky Rizzles. Nicky Rizzles wants to claim the inside. Francois let him letting him alive some clean driving. I love to see him drive like this because he's very new, fresh to the league and uh, driving like he's already in it for a bunch of weeks. He entered the league at nine o'clock. This is only 30 minutes before the the match started. Tested by Lupetik. Thanks, Lupetik. Some good battles with him. Well, we did set if he's uh, already too fast, and he maybe suits uh, the second tier better. But again, it depends on tracks. So we will not uh, make conclusions too quickly. He was very nervous in his driver test and it seems like uh, he's managed it now really well. But again, if new drivers are uh, at the podium every race immediately, then, then they have nothing to learn in this division anymore. So we will see how this goes uh, in upcoming weeks. Because you also can have a very good debut, but I'm looking at the diss track, and he's uh, already up for a second tier. See you later into the pits. I think he will make the first pit stop if I'm right. Sorry, wrong one. No, not. Where's the stops here? Oh, Poseidon and Brother Adam already made the stop. So see you later. Uh, the James tires there. Into mediums, I think. Yes, he did. Brother Adam is not. Uh Having his weeks, two weeks before we had a, a fortune race, and he's also uh, behind now. Still on fifth place. What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh no, Nikki! What's wrong, Nikki? Francois making a pit stop there. Also Jacob Pasty will uh, dive into the pits. Did something happen between Francois and Nicky or did Nicky made a mistake? I don't see any damage for Francois there, it's only a tire change so it's a regular pit stop. Where will we rejoin the track? Dodo will pass him, I think. So we'll turn in the pits, he will stay in front of Nicky Nick, yes. 
So back on P12 on track. So Hachi and Atismo also team Mio diving into the pit lane. So then GLA first time he's leading the severity race over here. He's doing very well, very well. Championship for Williams. Everybody, only brother Adam on the hard tires today. Again, Luki spinning away. This time, I don't know for sure if Poseidon touched him from behind. Not quite sure about it. His first mistake was also two turns before. Maybe he's just struggling in the in this sector. But this is something we have to uh, we need to take a look into it. I'm not sure about that one, what happened uh, exactly. Oh, you got to laugh, this view. I hope it will stay on forever. <laughs> Speed Jacob tried to defend it, but it was already too late. Probably moved by Atismo. I stole in the ninth place again from Jacob. Now GLA also making the, the pit stop. Now Pipe Tech is. Also, Luki, by the way, those two drivers are still on the on that very first soft. Jihale uh, joined the track right behind Atismo and Jacob. They have a little, a bit more temperature in, in those tires. So for this lap, they will have some advantage. But I think it will be equal very soon, very soon. It's Nicky Tom in the lead again. It's a long time ago he was not the lead. He was not the lead uh, at many races, of course, the champion from last year. into the pits and looky Luke did the same now everybody is uh, rid of those first tires they're all it's small look at this ladies and gentlemen it's a good overtake from Jacob and at this mode needs to be careful again also from this team and oh I think GLA now made a small mistake you can see what happened there but if uh, one second behind him it was closer before. Mm. 
There he is, our reigning champion. He did the best from P11, his first stint. So he's doing the best with these medium tires. Boog is sort of following it, also Dodo on P4. Does got a penalty there. Let's see some penalties given into the race. That's six seconds for Real Journey and Poseidon. Francois just took over uh, Robert Dodo. He's on, uh, on new tires, so that's done easily for him. But back to the penalties. Those driver had six seconds. See you later, Team Mike, Lee Meister, GLA, Jacob, and Sneaky Tom. Um, th three seconds already. We are halfway through the race. We are at lap 14 of the 26 laps. benefit uh, Dodo, Bugzort and Sneaky Tom are having is they have the reversed strategy today so Dodo will switch to the softs later while everybody is on mediums there so that's a small advantage for them and it can uh, bring them a few overtake possibilities following it GLA on the inside of Robert Dodo three gentlemen past Robert Dodo I think indeed this is the time Robert Dodo should make a pit stop switch to the softs a few drivers will pass but you have advantage maybe maybe a small chance Robert Dodo can bring home his first points today Let's see where he will drop back Pipetech following the teammate of Will Johnny. Pipetech on the inside touched him a bit. Oh, Will Johnny took the position. I think Pipetech came a bit from a bit too far there. So the contact was probably his own fault. Oh, what's happening over here? The teammate from 
Nicky uh, fighting with Theo, the rival of Nicky of course. By the way, uh, Robert, Robert Dodo on P16. Forgot to... <laughs> That's really annoying. This pit lane is so long that it even is hard for me to uh, to have a measure where, they will, well, where drivers will be at if they make, are making a pit stop. Robert Dodo into the pits at P9 with a gap from 6 seconds behind him still. And he's on P16 there. It's it's very much. And 41 seconds behind Borgsort there. Did something happen to to Robert Dodo? I don't know. Uh, he's closing in on him already. Look at this. Today, guys, it's the midfield who are entertaining us. It's not the drivers in front. It's definitely uh, the midfield today. They, are, they did give us some lovely battles. Ooh, yeah, it is more uh, touch the grass a little bit. Get, it's getting passed by Nicky Rizzis at this moment. like to see how drivers are taking the left field corner because there are multiple ways of doing it and uh, every, every driver has their, their own way of doing it some drivers are going more wide for a better exit some drivers are really close on the inside even uh, crossing the curb a bit on the inside and then there's also the exit drivers uh, prefer to uh, cross the curb on the outside there's a green, a green field there and some drivers prefer to stay on the on the inside of that curb so we will see again in, uh, in two turns In this corner, I meant. Yeah, Pipe Tech is having a hard day. He doesn't have penalty yet, so this is, is in his advantage. But if he wants to pass Lee Meister, he definitely needs to work on his ERS management. Because every time on Hanger Straight. Ooh, <laughs> now he has earned a penalty as well. But what I wanted to say, every time he's on the hangar straight, he has got two less ERS to overtake Lee Meister. If he wants to do it on this point, he needs to have a lot of ERS. I mean, not a lot, but not too less, of course. His ERS every time is, uh, is finished. It will make you slower per lap. Your average will be slower. And now he needs to be careful for T-Mike as well, because T-Mike is already following them. 
for, uh, for quite a few laps. Doesn't get past it yet. Maybe eventually he will. Oh, Robert Dodo made a mistake. This definitely will mean he doesn't uh, bring home some points, unfortunately. Do it, can he do it? Risking it inside. <laughs> He's crazy sometimes. Could end up in tears or it can end up very spectacular, and it's the, the last thing over here. Oh, doing this one will do it as well. Lovely duels also between uh, the Renaults and Jacob. And there is uh, some good effort brought to, to the league. New drivers who uh, seems to fit in. Didn't see those drivers behind uh, very often. I think a boom sort will overtake Pipe Tech very soon. These fresh softs. We will hold the fastest lap at this stage. It's real Johnny with the 127, not anymore. It's 126.9 for Tio Mio. It's on the mediums. 10 laps old mediums. Insane, insane. But it's not over yet, so let's see uh, who holds this record at the end of this race and scoring the, that extra point in the championship. Although well, Johnny retired from the session, did he do it into the pit lane? Robert Dodo and Real Johnny out. 16 drivers still in this race. Looking with another three second time penalty there. Well, Book Search, you should be able to overtake Pipe Tech there. There are way better tires. I wouldn't say way better, they are from Pipe Tech. Those sets are not, uh, not old yet. But you're on the softer compound. knew that pipe tech did improve from last season uh, until where he is now uh, he, he performed uh, really well and uh, it's not over yet I think because there's some more there are more improvements to be to be found winning from others is uh, the best thing to do if you have a faster driver in front of you, you can learn. The 
as Nicky Tom said, I'm happy if I'm scoring points today. For now, it seems like he's uh, nailing it. Five seconds behind Poseidon. Can he overtake him in that final four laps? Three and a half laps even. Tim Neal will cross the finishing line for the 24th lap. 11 seconds again in front of Francois, who's also on a very good pace. And they had a brilliant first race, very solid. But again, the difference between the entire third division and Tio Mio, it's just, don't know what he has eaten. I, I will ask, what did he eat today? Or not today, a few weeks ago, probably. See you later, also. Oh, he's gone. It happened into uh, cops, if I am saying that. No, sorry, it didn't happen there. It's on uh, Stow. Stow, I think you should pronounce it like that. It's in the third sector. In this corner. So he lost it there. And it's the third driver out of the race. The pipe tech made a mistake, but I think it happened because of Bulgasort, because Bulgasort is giving this position back to pipe tech. Very prof professionally. So maybe he pushed him a bit wide or something. Back to the Renaults who are fighting on Hangar Straight. Into Stow. They are calling this the Hamilton Strait, by the way. Is it just because he's British or? Would be a hard thing uh, for Francois to invite him. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. It would be a hard thing to invite him over on the press conference. He's uh, from Argentina. And, uh, I had to speak Spanish with him a lot. Translate uh, his language. Doing this all the way around. So he needs to uh, learn some English there. So. <laughs> I won't, I'm not thinking it's a good idea to invite him already into that press conference. It would be a bit awkward for him, I think. And he will probably uh, yell at us in Spanish and we couldn't understand at that point, so... But he will be happy. One book sort, he must uh, can do it. This is what I was telling about. Did you see the difference between the both and those? How they are, how they took that corner. feeling like it, how you want to take it, it both can be fast. So there it is, Tio Mio with another win. It's his, how many wins has he already got on his name? 
not quite sure at this stage. Francois P2, brilliant race by him, his first race. Archie third place, Nicky fourth. Jacob Pasty, his first race on P5, brilliant. G. Ale, he can also be very happy with this one. Atismo P7, Poseidon P8. Sneaky Tom, the ninth place. Can he keep it? Can he keep it? T. Micah on P10, yes, Sneaky Tom can keep it. Pulgasort P11, Pytech P12, Lee Meister. How many penalties do we got? P13. So there he is, T. O'Neill again. Another win for him. <laughs> By the way, if Jamie and Wright is on 60 EI, that's not true, that cannot be true. Because Celerity 2 drivers are capable of uh, at least 90 EI. I'm also a Celerity 2 driver. And, uh, I can do 105 until 110, then I am sweating, but uh, capable of doing it. So 60 EI, that's not even the third tier drivers are uh, higher than that. 60 is very low, boys. Driver of the day for now is Poseidon. We will vote on this uh, this weekend on our Instagram channel. Well, we are getting familiar to this face. Tio Mio on podium, lifting the biggest cup. And I think in uh, one or nah, in two weeks, probably two weeks, two or three weeks, we will see him uh, as the new champion of the third division. Francois for Haas, he did a brilliant race and I think he's very happy with it. So Tio Mio also again with the fastest lap. So again he has everything. 126.647 is the fastest lap today. Head pole position and the win over here. Francois, new driver in the Celerity, brilliant by him. Second place. Archie P3, Nicky Rizzo's on fourth place. So he's doing... Um, some good business for the second place there between him and Poseidon of course Jacob Pasty with the New Zealand flag P5 GLA P6 Atismo 7 Poseidon 8 Sticky Tom P9 he's very happy because he had points T Mike 10 Bugasort 11 Piper 12 Lee Meister 13 brother Adam 14 Lucky 15 see you later real Johnny and Robert Dodo didn't finish today those three drivers were out of the race and everybody else had a a very good race, I enjoyed this one, some good battles. It wasn't a midfield today, not really spectacular up front, but uh, I think uh, we could be enjoyed over here. Let's make a showroom. <laughs> I will ask for, uh, I will ask if they, uh, if Francois is capable of uh, bringing some English, but I, I talked to him a lot today and I, uh, I'm not expecting that it will be a very good idea like I said but you never know you never know one moment boys will invite uh, our podium winners on the press press conference this is Tio Mio Tio and on third place who was third place again I forgot <laughs> oh my god <laughs> who was on third place guys It was Hachi, right? Where is he? Where is he? I'm hope I, I I'm uh, I hope I'm right about this one.
Well, Francois is saying a terrible de debut, but it, it's not terrible, it's brilliant. Hello, Hachi Liam. Good evening, Dylan. How are you, mate? I'm really good, thank you. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was... I forgot who was third on the podium, and I thought it was you. I'm right, right? Yeah, yeah. Nick, Nicky Rizzles really chased me down towards the end. Um, but yeah, it was good. Really enjoyed that. Hey, one question. Is the is your a voice shared to the public in the party settings? Um, no. Do I need to change that? Yes, otherwise our viewers cannot hear you. They only can hear me asking you uh, some questions. No, we, don't, we don't want that. So, where are we? Just audio, is it? Yes, in the party settings. Yeah. And then you will see that option uh, somewhere uh, in the middle. Everything but... It's something like... Share your voice to public, I will uh, look for you. Oh. Yes, that's it. Is that the one? That's okay. the one, mate. Now everybody can hear you as well. Perfect. Well, it's a long time you were, uh, you've been on the podium. Did you still remember how it looked like? Uh, it's been a long, long time. Obviously, I changed my wheel. I've gone to no traction control. Slowly getting there, slowly getting there. But everybody else has got so much quicker this last year. Well, you, uh, I told our viewers indeed you uh, you changed to the Fnatic wheel, and yeah, it, it, it took a while before you were back on the grid. But lately, a recent weeks, you uh, you performed very well. So uh, I think uh, I think we can get used to you again, or not? Uh, I hope so. We'll see. <laughs> There's some super super quick guys there. Yeah, that's uh, really true, but. Uh, how was the race in your opinion today? Uh, it's good. I absolutely love Silverstone, Dylan. Uh, favourite track by far. Um, yeah, uh, good early first stint. Uh, Tio just disappeared, as always. Credit to our new racer, he was really quick. Is it Francois? Yes. Uh, I cannot... Uh... Him and Nick had a bit of a coming together, uh, which is unfortunate, because Nick is just super quick as always. But no, I really enjoyed the race. Nice. I cannot uh, invite Francois, the, the second driver, into our press conference because he is very Spanish. <laughs> he cannot Come on, Dylan, you can speak English, you no, can speak Dutch, let's have some Spanish. I, I cannot <laughs> uh, speak Spanish, I only can translate it on Depot, Depot.com. Uh. <laughs> so that would, that would not be a smart thing to do. So uh, just uh, let him get used to, to our league first and uh, yeah, learn right. some English. But... Um, He's yeah. definitely El Scorchio, definitely. <laughs> yeah, final question for you. Um, if I am looking to the calendar, first I want to have a look to the calendar, what's next next week. We will be racing on uh, on Netherlands in my country. <laughs> what are your predictions over there? Can you score another podium? Uh, no. <laughs> I do like the track, but I'm not, I'm not very quick round there, so expect, obviously, Nicky and Tio to be battling out, hopefully get top five, that's the plan, we'll see. Alright, but I, I'd love to see you uh, back on podium, uh, Hachi, and uh, enjoy this one, really enjoy this one. Cheers, Dylan, thank you very much. No problem. How are you, Tio? Yo, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good. I already said to our viewers, I want to ask you, what did you eat a few weeks ago? <laughs> um, there's there's yeah. something changed. We already knew that you were very fast, but since about three weeks ago, something changed. You you don't belong to this league anymore, mate. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, in, indeed, over the last, uh, yeah, the second half of the season, yeah, I've been really... Yeah, consistent. The pace has been uh, been quite consistent. Uh, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I think the I think basically the pace of Nicky is about the, the same. But yeah, uh, in the second half of the season he had terrible uh, bad luck. And uh, yeah, also today uh, it was a good race and I enjoyed myself. But uh, I was on the front row uh, together with Nicky. He had an awful start, and I think they're coming together later. But uh, you can see uh, he dropped down. Um, but yeah, I was, I was actually hoping uh, to have a nice battle because uh, yeah, I believe uh, his pace is equal uh, to mine. But uh, yeah, I think 
yeah, based on uh, on race pace at this uh, moment, we're uh, we're ahead of the pack. So uh, yeah, yeah, happy with that. I'm not sure uh, what's the reason, but uh, yeah, I think uh, some practice. <laughs> Okay, so nothing uh, has been eaten less lately. <laughs> nothing uh, different okay. than normal, though. If you would uh, promote to the second division, would you miss the third division? Yeah, I would definitely miss the third division. Uh, I think the the spirit in uh, in the third division has been great since uh, already since last season, and uh, yeah, it's a nice community. Everyone. Everyone is fair. Uh, when people make mistakes, they apologize. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Everyone is just really awesome in this uh, in this league. And uh, yeah, I think this is a perfect example how league racing uh, should be. It's not all about about winning, but uh, having a great community and everyone enjoying themselves. And yeah, I think uh, yeah, everyone in Tier Three is uh, is a role model uh, concerning that. Yeah, that's nice to hear, mate. And I uh, totally agree with that. Um, yeah, last two weeks you scored maximum points two pole positions two wins two fastest lap i think you can be very proud of that yeah thank you um yeah i knew uh when i when i uh, got the first position in the, in the championship i got yeah i got really focused and uh, the only thing you start thinking is uh, yeah, what if i what if i give it uh, out of hand so uh, just uh, keep putting in the, in the effort and try to stay focused uh, in the race but uh, yeah, it's easy when you were uh, like uh, in Mexico last week and this week my, uh, I had quite quite a gap, so you can save some ERS and then do one or two push laps uh, to make sure you have the fastest lap. So uh, yeah, I was lucky uh, lucky to have that. But uh, we're not there yet. I can still uh, yeah, I still need a couple of points. I don't know exactly what the standing is, but. Uh, Ooh, let me see. Uh, I thought the difference between you and Nikki were, was 58 points today. Nikki scored a P4. 52, I, I think it was. Before 52? Yeah. I don't know for sure, but uh, yeah, after today it's even more. I think in about two weeks you can do the job. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Final question for you. Do you think in the second tee you can learn even more to be an even faster driver? Um, yeah, there's still some time to gain if you look uh, to the to the top of the of tier two and uh, yeah, of course tier one. But uh, yeah, the learning curve is good. I, I only started league racing uh, last summer, so uh, yeah, let's hope if I uh, keep uh, putting in the effort that uh, that I keep on improving. Uh, let's hope this is not it yet. I think it's also needed when uh, when I promote, if I promote to tier two, to uh, even get a little more pace. So then you can race against me, mate. Exactly, <laughs> I, yeah, I, 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 I would, forgot. I would love to see that uh, some battles against you, and uh, awesome. yeah, not only you, of course. And uh, I also loved. I uh, told the viewers as well. I love to see the how how the entire Celer, the third division, improved last season. If we are, if we were comparing until uh, about last season, how how you all did grow. It's really ridiculously, and uh, I love to see the spirit indeed. So uh, yeah, let's let's bring some more, mate. We still have three more races to go, so uh, let's get it on. Yeah, let's get it on. And congratulations on the podium, Archie. Thanks very much, Tia. It's good to be up here. <laughs> Guys, I just second everything he said, Dylan. Tier three is amazing in terms of community spirit and all the rest. It's great. We absolutely love it. Yes, it still can be better. So let's do that. And uh, yeah, I love to see it as well. I am enjoying my uh, Thursday nights. I love to do the commentary on you guys. I had a uh, catch the cold this weekend, but uh, so my voice wasn't really great. But uh, overall, I enjoyed it really much. I didn't see you often, Theo, because the <laughs> battles were on the midfield today. <laughs> but uh, enjoy this podium, lads, and uh, bring some more. Cheers. Thank, thank you very you. much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching as well. Uh, yeah, you must enjoy this race as well. And uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow at 9.30. Central European time for the Celerity second division in action. At 9 p.m. we will launch the first division as well. We all know that the first division uh, is gathering more new drivers, new talent. So maybe uh, even you, maybe you can even see Tio Mio again tomorrow because uh, yeah, drivers from the other divisions are filling in, capable of driving without assist. So the empty spaces are filled again until we are big enough again for the top tier as well but don't miss out it enough for today 
have a nice evening and we will back tomorrow bye bye